uh, year 12, chapter 1, vectors and projectile motion. Number 14 is a really difficult question. Oh, shut up, dogs. Righto. We, it doesn't give us very much information. It tells us that the egg is thrown this distance and that it was thrown at 45 degrees and we're going to neglect air resistance. So you know, where would you start is the problem. I'm able to do a little bit here. I'm going to work out that this initial velocity horizontally because they've given me this angle so I must be able to do something with that. So I've done that. And I've used it here to get the ver initial vertical velocity. And because it's 45, they're the same. So that's all good. And we've got the distance. Now, normally this is one of the last things that you work out in a projectile question. So we're going to be starting at the end and working backwards. So what do I know about this horizontal distance? So I always like to write what direction I'm working in at the time. It saves me getting confused later on if I forget subscripts and stuff. So I've got S equals 96.90 metres. And I've got, I know that that distance only depends on this horizontal initial velocity and the time. So the time we don't know. And our initial velocity equals 0 0.71. Because the question, the whole point of the question is to find out this u. It wants to know the initial velocity that the egg was thrown at. All right, so I know that Sx, because we're going horizontal, equals that initial velocity by the time. So let's see what we can get out of this. 96.9 equals 0 0.71 U and then T we don't know. I'd like to get some kind of a value for T because I'm thinking there is one other thing that I know in here and that is here The vertical velocity is zero. So I could use that, and that is at half of the time. And the t, I'll call it y equals a half. That's the total t. So I could do something with that. So I want to get some sort of a value for t. So if I rearrange this, I would get t equals. 96.9 divided by 0 0.71 uh, u. I only wrote t u. And that's going to require a calculator. So I've got 96.9 divided by 0 0.71 it gives me 136. Point I'll go 0.5 over u. Now that's that's the total time. I'm interested in half the time. So half the time is going to be 136.5. 136.5 divided by 2. It'll be 68.25. So 68.25 divided by U is the time it takes to get to here. So let's see what we can do with that. So we've got time, 68.25 divided by U. We've got V equals zero. That's in the vertical direction. We've got Ui equals 0 0.71 u. Um, 
and we know the acceleration equals negative 9.8. It's all in metres and seconds. Right here, so I can use V equals U plus A T because I've got V, U, A and T. And when I rearrange it all, I'll be able to find U. So V equals zero. U is 0 0.71 U plus negative 9.8 and the time to this point here was only the half time so it's this one times 68.25 divided by u I'll bring this term across to this other side that'll get rid of the negative and I'm going to multiply 9.8 by 68.25 So that gives me 668.85 divided by u equals 0 0.71 u. So I'm going to multiply both sides by u to get rid of this u here. And I'll divide this side by 0.71. So I'll end up with 668.85 divided by... 0 0.71 equals, that'll be u times u, u squared, and divided by 0.71. So u squared equals, what have we got? 942. And we want the square root of that. And we get 30.6. So we'll go 30.7 metres per second. And the question to ask yourself, is that a reasonable speed? Well, if you look at a lot of the other questions on that page, they've got speeds around 29 or 30. So that does seem like a reasonable answer. So we'll give ourselves a tick for our um, check for it being reasonable. And we're fairly confident then that we've got a good answer.